hao wataenzi kazi ya aliyekuwa mwanaharakati wa mazingira na mshindi wa tuzo ya Nobel Prize marehemu Wangari Mathai Charles Pia ameratibiwa kuzuru mazi, mazingira ya Karioko ofisi za umoja wa mataifa na hifadhi ya uh, wanyama pori nchini tupate habari hiyo There were abhorrent and unjustifiable acts of violence committed against Kenyans as they waged, as you said at the United Nations, a painful struggle for independence and sovereignty. And for that, there can be no excuse. In coming back to Kenya, it matters greatly to me that I should deepen my own understanding of these wrongs that I meet some of those whose lives and communities were so grievously affected. None of this can change the past, but by addressing our history with honesty and openness, we can perhaps demonstrate the strength of our friendship today. While there has been efforts to atone for the death, injury, and suffering inflicted on Kenyan Africans by colonial government, much remains to be done in order to achieve full reparations. I am optimistic that through the Kenya-UK partnership, we shall keep up our endeavor to inspire the change we hope for by making people and their well-being the fundamental consideration in our pursuit of trade and investment, defense and security conservation and climate action, research, development and innovation, as well as our work of designing a future that works for present generations and distant prosperity.